New at 10, forever grateful. A family calls a local firefighter a hero after jumping into action when a little boy is found at the bottom of a pool. It was a family's first vacation after adopting their son, but the child almost died during their St. Louis getaway. Thankfully, a Kenosha firefighter came to the rescue, even though the hotel was missing some life-saving equipment. Rebecca Clough has the story. New at 10, Rebecca. George and Carol, it was supposed to be a fun spring break trip. Six-year-old Roy was playing in a hotel pool when he went under, but CPR and a firefighter saved his life. A quick trip to St. Louis for Scott Carter and his family almost turned into a tragedy while they were at a hotel pool. And I heard my wife say, oh my God, oh my God. Scott watched as an older man jumped in and pulled out his grandson, Roy. When the grandpa emerged out of the pool with, with the little boy, he was completely blue and lifeless and limp. The grandfather started doing rescue breaths, and Scott, a firefighter paramedic, jumped into action doing chest compressions. He says he pumped for almost two minutes and nothing changed. So he ran to the hotel lobby to get an AED, but they didn't have one. I felt kind of hopeless, like, because I knew he was pulseless and I knew he, he had been underwater for a while. Scott went back to doing compressions. The little boy's brother was there. His own children were watching as well. When this was all going on, there was, you know, people were crying behind me. I could hear my kids off to the side. Scott worried it was too late. I was just thinking, like, I gotta, I gotta save this kid. I gotta save this kid. In a last ditch effort, he tried a sternal rub. Rub on their chest a little bit to try to stimulate, you know, someone who's unconscious. Roy came to choking up water. His family says they are so grateful. Roy's family had just adopted their son five months ago after Roy spent more than three years in foster care. He went to the hospital, but is okay. He was just extremely lucky. The family lives in Kansas City. I spoke to them today, but they didn't want to be on camera. They just want everyone to know how grateful they are to Scott. He says knowing CPR and getting helped saved Roy's life. Scott was in the right place at the right time. Thank you, Rebecca.